Next, let us proceed to self and family. So, among the many institutions and power at play in the society, ang family ang pinaka-prominent sa tanan. And it is said na isa sa mga factors, one of the factors that will affect a person is the kind of family he or she belongs to. So, other factors would also include availability of resources and the kind of development that one will have. So, class, ang role sa family is something that cannot be denied. Nga, ah, number one, when we are born, we are very dependent sa aton parents or sa aton nga caregivers to take care of us and also to meet our needs. For us to become a fully realized human, we must engage in different relationships. And ang pinaka-importante among all those relationships is the family. The second reason is that we learn our ways of living through the family. We learn how to do things through imitation. Ginasunod ta ang makita ta. So this is evident sa mga babies when they try to imitate the sounds or the actions from their parents or from their primary caregivers. Another reason is that we also learn our ways of behaving through the family. So they say that a child's behavior is actually a reflection of his or her parents' behavior or is also a result of how they are raised in their homes. So example, if you grew up in a respectful environment, naga greet naga bless nagahatag katahuran sa tigulang this will be evident in your actions towards people other than your family so parios na balang ginahambal nga ang batasan ta sa aton panimalay madala ta gid ina sa gwa so without the family a person may not survive or a person may actually not become a human person. For example, ang story ni Tarzan. Tarzan was left in the middle of the forest and he grew up without human interaction. And because of that, he started to act like an animal, specifically like an ape. So, as a result, he became an animal. Well, wala siya nag-turn into an ape, pero ang iya batasan, ang iya actions, ang iya gawi is similar to that of an ape. So, this tells us how important family is. And for the most part, we are who we are because of our families. The last one is gender and the self. So another important aspect of self is gender. Gender is a social construct and it is kono subject to alteration, to change and development. So magamba kita gani gender, it is the characteristics of men and women that are socially constructed. So this entails Nga ang gender, it varies actually from society to society and it can change over time. So actually, the society forces a particular identity unto us depending on our sex or our gender. For example, kung lalaki ka, people expect you to behave like a man. People will expect you to protect weaker individuals. People will expect you to provide for your family. And people will expect you to perform more difficult tasks. Kung babahi ka naman, people will expect you to act like a lady, to take care of the family, to be more emotional than men. So in the point of view of social sciences, gender has to be personally discovered 
and not asserted and not dictated by the culture and by the society. So gender conforms a part of selfhood. Therefore, a person must be given the freedom to find, to express, and to live his identity. So that is all for module two. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions, please comment below.